dynamic formatting keeps on giving. It's unbelievable. I'm going to show you how to go from this to that. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add annotations to your chart without using Chart Calculator. So I showed you with Chart Calculator, this time with dynamic formatting. Let's get started. So this is what we're going to do. As you can see, we have a bunch of events that we run and we want to plot them against our sales chart to see if they have an effect on our sales. And uh, this is how you do it. Let me show you. So this is how the model looks like. We have a chart, a table with annotations that tells us when the events happened. And we have actually joined them with um, the calendar. So day to day. It doesn't have to be both. You will probably have both if you have just one date, but it doesn't have to. You could have single one to many from the calendar will be one. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So this is how we're going to do it. This is our sales measure and we're going to copy it. It is not really recommended to reference a measure with a measure. Um, so if you run into trouble, you could actually, with annotations, um, you could actually duplicate it, or you can, in this case, because the model is so small, it doesn't matter. So I am just going to reference it right away. But bear in mind that that's probably not the best practice in the world. So we have it here. And now I am going to add it to our model. So sales with annotation, put it there, because they are exactly identical, they will get laid one in front of the other. So nobody will know that there are two, unless you have a legend though, <laughs> then you, you will get into trouble. And now we are going to do the dynamic formatting. Remember, this is a preview feature, uh, so you need to turn it on in case you haven't, otherwise you won't see it. You go here uh, to format when this drop-down appears. And now we do the DAX magic. We're going to create a variable for the annotation date, which is going to be the selected value for the annotation. So this is going to grab the annotation date, and then we're going to compare it with the date on the calendar, the date that is available on the graph. So we're going to do select selected value calendar date. And if it is equal, then I want you to give me the value that is on event short. Otherwise, I, here's where I was going wrong. I used a blank because that's what I'm used to use. And then I started to see, like, you get numbers instead. I think, what the heck is going on? Well, blank is not text. This is a formatting field, so you have to have text. You cannot have a number either. It will complain. It will say, mm -mm -mm. you need a string. So you need to do the for quotes, double quotes. And once you do it, it will show, okay? Now, Power BI people. I was wondering, like, where are my dates? I'm, where are my events? I'm missing events. So you see here 1996 in uh, no, October, there is an event there, but I can't see it. So if I zoom in, they show up. So for some mysterious reason, it's not showing me all the labels. Why are you not showing me all the labels? I want to see all the labels. It, it makes me mad every time it happens. So the labels are there. If you zoom in on the data, you will see them, but they won't show all of them. Power BI team, you need to fix this. Like, why won't you show it? They are not colliding with anything. <laughs> Maybe they think they are colliding with the next one that is on um, the, the Black Friday sale, but I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. Anyhow, they are there. If your team zoom in and out, they'll see it. Super cool. If you don't have such a dense chart, they will show. So <laughs> this is another cool way to use dynamic formatting. If you found other ways, let me know and I'll showcase them here. See you in the next video.